In this problem, we're given a probability distribution. Uh, this is discrete, and that means that oh, there's only these possible values right here, nothing in between. And we need to figure out first the probability that x is equal to 4. So a lot of them are set up vertically. This one's a horizontal table. That's fine. Here is the cell for x equaling 4. And this one's not labeled down here, but the probability of x is the second row. So prob this is x equals 4. Here's the probability associated to that. This is 0.18. So that's all there is for the first part. Now the next part, let me go ahead and put that in here. The next one is x is between 1 and 4, but not including 1 and 4. So here's 1, here's 4, between 1 and 4, there's two numbers, 2 and 3. Here's the two probabilities. All I have to do is add these two probabilities together and put that here. So I'm going to go with the sum. I'm adding again the probabilities for 2 and 3 because they're less than one, or greater than 1, less than 4. And hit enter. You can probably add these up without using Excel if you want. Uh, so that's part B. Before I do part C, I just changed this a little bit. This is not in the original problem, but there's other problems that use this. What I did is I put the equals in here. And so now I want to know x between 1 and 4, but including 1 and 4. So we're going all the way from 1 to 4. And I want to add all four of these probabilities together. So we're going to go with that sum again. And I'm just going to click and drag from 1 to 4 right here. Enter. And again, this is the sum from C5 to F5. Everything, the probabilities from 1 to 4, including the 1 and the 4 probability. All right, let's take this. I'm going to duplicate it down. Now, on this one down here, obviously, it's in the wrong row, so I'll put it up here in the right row. But this one is probability x is less than or equal to 5. So here's the, uh, I'm going to escape to get out. Here's x equals 5. I want 5 and everything below. This goes all the way to 0. Uh, so I need to add up all these probabilities here, corresponding 0 to 0 through 5 for x. So I'm double-clicking the sum. And again, to move this, I'm going to go to the four arrows, drag it up to the right, and then just include these last two. So now I have probabilities for x is 0 through x is equal to 5. And hit enter, and there we go. So we have 0 0.9. This one was the 0 0.5. Submit. There we go. 